Well, Canada is reportedly gearing up to send up to 1,000 doses of an untested Ebola vaccine to Africa. Healthcare workers are likely to get the first doses of the new medicine. The WHO has already approved the use of experimental drugs for people who have the virus. A viewer's Carol Pearson looks at possible treatments and vaccines for those with the disease. The experimental Ebola serum that was used on American and Spanish missionaries is produced at a small firm in California. The manufacturer says it's run out of the serum, but it's trying to increase production as quickly as possible. Other groups are also working on treatments and vaccines. Researchers at New Link Genetics in Iowa say they have a vaccine that was 100% effective when given to monkeys. The company received a federal grant to step up its work and expedite human testing. Dr. Jay Ramsey is a company officer. Every minute of every day and some nights and weekends, uh, we've been working on this. The U.S. National Institutes of Health has approved a grant to the University of Texas Medical Branch to develop effective treatments for Ebola. Head researcher Thomas Geisbert spoke to VOA via Skype. That grant really is to focus on what we believe are three of the most promising uh, post-exposure treatments against Ebola. All have proven effective in testing on monkeys. The next step, human trials. One of the goals of this project actually is to, to try to combine these different treatments. Uh, for example, with HIV, there's been a lot of success in combining different antiviral drugs that operate by different mechanisms of action. And, and we believe that this is something that... Um, you know, may work for Ebola as well. Since 1976, there have been more than 15 Ebola outbreaks in sub-Saharan Africa, but no licensed treatments are available. In a Skype interview, an expert on tropical diseases, Dr. Peter Hotez, explains. The problem is because it's a neglected tropical disease, there's not been a, where there's no real commercial market for it, the major multinational pharmaceutical companies have not invested in these products. As a result, researchers have to depend on grants from government and private sources, and progress is a lot slower. Leader. Too slow for more than 1,000 people who have died from Ebola. Carol Pearson, VOA News.